Hello everyone, Carson here and welcome back to my channel. Now in today's video, I wanted to give you a really quick rundown of how VPS hosting works and what VPS host you should choose if you decide to go with VPS hosting. So I will actually leave a link to the VPS host of my choice in the description below, which I will get into and expand upon later in the video. But if you wanna check that out, you can do so. And now let's go ahead and get into the video. Now, first of all, you need to know how VPS hosting works. Essentially, VPS or virtual private server hosting is a hosting type where you have your own emulated hosting server on a data center. What this means is that it's actually not the traditional physical server which you would think of when you think of dedicated servers. Dedicated hosting, of course, is where you own a physical server or rent a physical server within a data center and that entire server is yours. Shared hosting is where you own a spot or rent a spot on that server and the resources are pooled and shared between multiple users. VPS hosting is actually kind of a hybrid between these two in the fact that you don't actually own an entire physical server. Instead, you own or you rent a small virtual piece of it, an emulated server within the physical server. The benefits of this, of course, can include a high uptime and an improved latency as well, since the performance can be customized per virtual server. If you do want to check out VPS hosting though, because I do actually highly recommend it, what are good VPS hosts to pick? Well, actually the one I've got linked in the description is called Scala Hosting. Now Scala Hosting, you may or may not have heard of it. It's a very up and coming and expert recommended hosting platform for the reason being that for the price, Scala Hosting has unmatched features and resources. A lot of VPS hosting platforms will try and be the cheapest or try and be the most expensive and the most revered, but Scala Hosting doesn't actually do that. What they do is they aim to have the most features for your money. So basically what I found is that when you use Scala Hosting, when I have reviewed it in the past and when I've actually used it, it seems to have a lot of different features and resources available for a very, very small price. And if you actually run through the breakdown, it would normally cost multiple hundreds to get the same features which Scala Hosting actually offers on their $10 a month plan. If you do want to check out Scala Hosting, go ahead and do that now through my link in the description. That is how VPS Hosting works though, so remember to leave a like, subscribe, and hit that notification bell, and I will see you in the next video.